Hello YouTube, it's Melissa and I am getting ready to start another layout. So I wanted to take you through what I hope to be using. So here we go. Uh, right now I am going to be scrapbooking a 12 by 12 of my daughter from just three photos from her season. Um, she's still in fact doing it, but I <laughs> honestly I feel like I could take another 50 photos and um, still going to be the same thing. They're all wearing the same outfit, same place. So, um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use white 12 by 12 and I'm going to incorporate some silver because you can't see it in the photos, but their uniforms do have um, some silver trim on them. I also used my Cameo and cut a forest green. It's actually, um, I don't remember the actual color, but it's a Stampin' Up forest green very very deep and I also cut their school letters which is FHC I cut that with my cameo as well um, so I have the photographs uh, obviously I, I cut the green because that's their school colors and I have this last wood veneer I bought two years and years and years ago you know when your kid decides they love something you try to gather everything and I went to an expo and I bought two of these one was a smaller size that I just recently put in my project life in September, which I have the video uploaded and I'm going to share in a few days. Um, but so this is the bigger one and I liked this element possibly there. Uh, let's see, I am going to incorporate the, I don't know, I guess secondary title, um, Go Rangers. And I don't have any cheerleading stamps, but I do have my sports, my two sports containers pulled out, and um, I do have a lot of football elements, so I do have like some football washi and those types of things, football stickers, and she's a football cheerleader, so I will go through that and see what kind of football elements I can incorporate um, into this page, and I did pull stamps per my usual, so I did find a couple um, since I don't have cheer stamps. Uh, I have this Stampin' Up! Perfect Words and I do like this Amazing Awesome Talented You with a heart so possibly that. I have this Felicity Jane. This is the Felicity set. You've seen me use this uh, a number of times but I do like this Amazing because I think that's funny and a reason to smile and quite often I use um, Eat Sleep Be Awesome Repeat so um, so that. And then I have this other one. This is a Studio Calico set. I want to, I believe it's called Hey Girl. I don't, I'm almost 100% positive it's not um, available anymore, but there's a lot of fun sayings in here. Um, and, you know, it's all about being positive and obviously as a cheerleader, you're just trying to, um, you know, do your best. So that's about it. That's all I've got for right now. And, um, We'll see what happens. Like I said, um, I'm incorporating the silver. So with splashes of this um, brushed pewter and maybe some silver vellum or whatever I can find. So, all right, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back. I've got the layout done. And so here we go. This is a 12 by 12 layout and it's from just a handful of cheerleading pictures that I took of my daughter. The season's still going on for a little bit, but I mean, like I explained before, I could have, I already have a zillion pictures and I, I guess I just gotta pick a handful. So uh, let's start at the top. Well, the base is a piece of white. And uh, like I mentioned, I used my Cameo to cut this forest green uh, frame here and this FHC here. Uh, let's see, this up here I tucked under the frame and it is uh, just a piece of random chipboard from my stash. So I actually put some of it here, attached it with my tiny attacher and I cut another piece of it in half and put it back here. And I did go ahead and in fact use the brushed pewter and I sprayed the layout um, just with some droplets before I started let it dry these two pieces here this is a piece of 
Oh, it's one of those brads from Life in Color, Simple Stories. And the other one is from DIY Boutique, Simple Stories. And then behind here, you know how much I love the layering. I have a overlay that has a bluish green hue to it. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity with black to use this. So I cut it in half and tucked half of it here, half of it here. And then I used some, I mentioned before I wanted to pull in silver. So I did that with the mist and um, this vellum from Stampin' Up. It's a diagonal stripe. And I used my Stampin' Up notebook punch and just punched the edges and, you know, kind of crinkled it up there. Uh, the tag, I attached a, I put a brad in it. This is just, oops, sorry, bump the camera. This is just a brad from, <clears throat> excuse me, my Stampin' Up! stash. And then some brown twine just here, tied a knot. Did my tiny attacher to staple it down. Uh, making my way through these black paper clips. And so this arrow clip is pointing to a sticker I had in my stash. It says, Go Fight Win. Uh, my three photos, I believe I cut down to uh, two and three quarters by three. So um, just some random pieces. Like this is a mustardy yellow for my stash. And this is just a craft for my stash. And I actually used this border punch. It's like a post it called postage stamp from EK success edge and then I did that on the t all all of this was duplicated except for the overlay and the, the vellum on the layers on the top and the bottom I just tucked them under there I added some washi I told you I had this football washi in my stash so I added that right down there just it, it seems a little random but it's not <laughs> and then for stamps first off I stamped uh, this kind of speech bubble and then the amazing and then I pulled for my stash this sports stamp and I guess it is a little cheer related because it says go team in school spirit but I stamped the football and I stamped it on craft <clears throat> excuse me and I colored it with my Prisma colored pencils and so here's a close-up there's the amazing this is my FHC. I cut those in cardstock. Go Rangers. That was actually cut with black cardstock. And that is the bottle cap font. It's teeny tiny alpha bottle cap font from MFT. Uh, and then there's the football. I just colored it in on craft paper and I just adhered it with a glue dot. And then the cheer element. Uh, I mentioned that was wood. I colored it with a Sharpie marker and backed it with white so that it would be completely white through there. And that's it. So I'll go ahead and show you another close up. And then, um, yeah, I hope you like this. Please give me a thumbs up if you do. And I would love for you to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and I'll put both of those links in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.